Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 665, Hosea. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let tear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall, so must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. The wilderness will lead you to your heart where i will speak integrity and justice with tenderness you shall know long have i waited for your coming home to me and live in deeply our new life you shall sleep secure in peace faithfulness will be your joy long have i waited for your coming home to me and live in Deeply In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause. We ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to do through my fault, fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, saints and, and you, to you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for me, me to, the to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people 
whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it, and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people? whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power and with so strong a hand. Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image they exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor him. <clears throat> Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, 
and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before my Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> In the first reading today from the, from the book of Exodus, we see that Moses had been up in the mountain so long that people thought that he had died. And then they built a golden calf and were offering incense to it and worshiping as a god. I'm sure the calf was meant to be a symbol of God, but still um, they uh, offended God grievously by that. And Moses pleads on behalf of the people that God spare them. In the responsorial psalm, the psalmist reminds us of how the their forefathers had worshipped the golden calf. They forgot about all the mighty deeds that God had worked for them in Egypt to bring them out of Egypt from slavery, how he took care of them in the desert, and yet they forgot about the God who had saved them. In the responsorial psalm, we're reminded that God loved us so much that his son is only begotten son to be our savior, and through him we have the hope of eternal life. All we have to do is look at the crucifix to realize what God has done for us, and yet it's so easy for people today to forget about that and become so caught up with their own lives and their own world worship and world. I'm often disappointed. On Holy Week, um, we don't have school on Holy Thursday, Good Friday, or Easter Monday. We don't have school those days, so we can refocus really on the liturgies, the most important liturgies of the year. And yet, so many people see that as a great opportunity to go skiing in Colorado and taking a break, and sometimes even find it hard to get to Mass on Easter Sunday. Uh, we've forgotten the mighty words that God has done for us. We've forgotten that God the Son suffered and died on the cross for us and rose from the dead so that we might have the glories of eternal life. Uh, so we have to always constantly remind ourselves of what God has done for us and then try to remain faithful to him always. And I'm sure that's why you come to daily mass as often as you can or every day to remind ourselves and remind you of God's mighty works. I think one of the great um, disappointments will, people will experience on judgment day at the moment of their lives when they stand before the Lord is they'll realize so often they allow other things to become much more important than their relationship with God. And Jesus will still lo love them with an infinite love, but I think the pain they will experience is really realizing how foolish they were to focus so much on the pleasures of this life or the things of this world and didn't give more time and attention to deepening their relationship with the Lord Jesus. And so it's something for us always to reflect upon and always to keep our, our focus where it needs to be, on the crucifix, the death and resurrection of Jesus, for it's through his death and resurrection that we have the hope and promise of an ending life in God's kingdom in heaven. So with that in mind, let us pray. 
O God, our Heavenly Father, out of love for us, you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Through his death and resurrection, we have the hope of eternal life. Aware of your great love and his, we come to you with confidence this morning and humbly ask you to grant us these favors and petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop George Lucas, Bishop Conley, and Bishop Hannafeld, and for all leaders in the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That school programs throughout the state of Nebraska and across the nation will promote and stress the practice of the virtue of chastity as a better choice than choosing to have an abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of the Ukraine, whose cities have been bombed, homes, schools, and hospitals have been destroyed, that they may be successful in stopping the advance of Russian forces and maintain their national independence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our <coughs> prayer. For, <coughs> for all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, that they may know the joys of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocation to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For sufficient rain throughout the planting and growing season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass this morning for Deb Kessler. We pray to the Lord. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have the spread to offer, which earth has given in human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us of our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with every blessing and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in the presence of countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we do confess your name in exultation, giving voice to every creature under the heavens as we acclaim. 
Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Such is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and love. You have formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who might seek you might find you. Time and time again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only beloved Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits to those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. And therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an everlasting covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved those who were his own in the world, he loved them to the end. While they were at supper, he took bread, blessed it, and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples to saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and this one chalice, that gathered into the one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. And therefore, Lord, remember now all those for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, George, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those who are present, and all your people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. To us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, 
that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the holy creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we shall, we may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy Amen. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days and by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await your blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. <clears throat> Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old hymn who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. <clears throat> Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 3226. I am the bread of life. <clears throat> I am the bread of life. You who come to me shall not hunger, and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. And if you eat of this bread, you shall live forever. You shall live forever. And I will raise you up. And I will raise you up. And I will raise you up on the last day. Let us pray. May the sacrament which we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, for, for that, freed from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Final hymn is number 662. Save us, O Lord. Save us, O Lord, carry us back. Rouse your power and come. Rescue your people, show us your face. Bring us back. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. Return, and we shall be saved. Arise, O Lord, hear our cries, O Lord. 
Bring us back. Save us, O Lord, carry us back. Rouse your power and come. Rescue your people, show us your face. Bring us back. How long will you hide from your people? We long to see your face. Give ear to us, draw near to us, Lord God of hosts. Save us, O Lord, carry us back. Rouse your power and come. Rescue your people, show us your face. Bring us Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. 